What's up gamers, I'm Optron. Welcome to Sensitivity Series Episode 7 where we are going to find perfect sensitivity for your device for multiplayer without gyroscope. Every device has different touch response rate and different quality of sensors. I'm gonna tell you some parameters using which you are going to find the perfect sensitivity for your own device be it Android, iOS or any kind of tablets it will work for all. But before that, it is important to know what is field of view. Well, it defines how much area you want to see on your screen. So how you can find the perfect camera FOV for your device? Well, it is really easy. To do so, you have to come and stand on this shadow, which is almost in the middle of the target practice range and face towards the target practice area and align yourself with these two corner pillars of the target practice window and place your crosshair in the middle of it. Once you are done with this positioning, what you have to do is slowly increase your camera FOV till the moment you find the target practice window wall and an extra inch out of it. Now this is the perfect camera FOV for your device. Now if you increase it to max, what will happen is you will get a pseudo feeling of uh, feeling of uh, moving fast. But uh, guys, in uh, reality, you are moving uh, at the same speed and you will see more uh, area, but it will be super hard for you to spot the enemies. Now next we have is weapon FOV. Well, what is weapon FOV? Well, this one zooms out your weapon from your display and uh, this makes uh, this uh, weapon thing cover less area on your screen so that you can see more of the map. You can uh, take it as uh, reducing the hurdle and uh, spotting the enemy. Now, once you are done with the FOV thing, now it's time to set the best sensitivity for your device. So the first thing you have to do is you have to upload your current sensitivity and save it so that you uh, do not come and start abusing me that Optron you have destroyed my sensitivity. Well jokes apart that's how you can save your sensitivity. Now let's start with the first one we have camera standard sensitivity. Now how we can find the perfect camera standard sensitivity for your device. Well you have to come and stand at the start point in a manner that you cannot move further. Now once you are done, this A to B uh, is approximately 180 degree rotation guys. Now once you have done uh, with your positioning, now what you have to do is slowly increase your camera standard sensitivity till the moment you achieve this 180 degree rotation with the same amount of swipe, same type of swipe, same speed of swipe you do during your gameplay. This is really important. You have to achieve this 180 degree rotation with the usual swipe you do during your ranked gameplay or normal gameplay. And once you have reached this uh, 180 degree rotation with the same amount and same type of swipe you do, that number is the perfect camera standard sensitivity for your device. Well, uh, that's how you can find the perfect camera standard sensitivity. Now moving on to the next one we have is rotation mode sensitivity. Now for fixed speed you have to rely upon camera standard sensitivity and for distance and speed acceleration you can change it. Now how you can find the perfect rotation mode sensitivity? What you have to do is you have to keep on increasing it until and unless you can take a sharp 180 degree turn with the same amount of swipe you do usually when you play the game while sprinting. This is really important guys. You have to set your rotation mode sensitivity while you are sprinting. This you have to keep in mind. So keep on increasing it and uh, put your character on sprint mode and then Try to take sharp 180 degree turn and uh, you have to achieve it with the same amount and type of swipe 
you usually do when you play ranked or normal multiplayer game. So that's how your rotation mode is going to be perfect. Now we have camera ADS sensitivity. So uh, what you have to do is you have to come again and stand at the start point and place your crosshair in the middle of the screen. Now this point A and point B, this is 180 degree rotation guys, uh, just to remind you again. Now once you have placed yourself, now you have to open, in, uh, open your ADS and try to achieve this 180 degree rotation with the same amount and type of swipe you usually do when you play multiplayer ranked or normal multiplayer or you are in practice range. So uh, you have to achieve this 180 degree rotation without stretching your finger and with the same type and amount of swipe you do. Once you have achieved it, that is the number which is your perfect camera ADS sensitivity. Moving on, we have camera red dot and holo sensitivity. Here also we are going to follow the same mechanism of uh, reaching this 180 degree rotation with the same amount and type of swipe we usually do while we play multiplayer ranked and uh, normal. So uh, this is how you can find the camera red dot and holo sensitivity perfectly. The next one we have is camera tactical scope sensitivity. Here also we are going to uh, follow the same mechanism we have followed dur during uh, camera ADS and camera red dot. Uh, we have to achieve this 180 degree rotation with the same type and uh, amount of swipe we usually do when we play multiplayer ranked or normal or uh, even in practice range. So uh, guys, do not skip the video here because uh, do not think that uh, rest of the scope is going to follow the same mechanism. Next one we have is sniper scope sensitivity for camera. Now here, what we have to do is we have to cover this point A to B, which is uh, like cover wall for the first target line with the usual size or amount of the swipe we do during our gameplay. Now keep on increasing your sniper sensitivity uh, little by little until and unless you can perfectly cover this uh, first target line uh, cover wall. So that's how you can find the perfect camera uh, sniper scope sensitivity. Next one we have is camera 3x tactical scope sensitivity. Now here what we have to do is we have to achieve uh, this rotation from point A which is uh, first wall of uh, target practice window to point B which is second wall of target practice window. Uh, these two walls we have used in uh, finding best FOV also. Now what we have to do is we have to achieve this rotation from first wall to second wall with the same amount and same type of swipe we usually do during our gameplay. That is how we can find the perfect 3x scope uh, camera sensitivity and we are going to follow the same mechanism for camera 4x tactical scope sensitivity. Here also we have to achieve this point A to point B uh, rotation that is these two corner walls of the target practice window and uh, this is uh, almost 160 degree guys you can say and uh, keep on increasing your uh, 4x camera scope sensitivity by uh, 10 or 20 until and unless you can perfectly reach these two uh, target practice window wall and once you have achieved this rotation with the same amount and type of swipe you usually do during your uh, game play that is the number where you have to stop and that will be the perfect camera 4x uh, uh, scope sensitivity for your device moving on to the camera 6x tactical scope sensitivity now here we are going to follow the same mechanism we have followed during the sniper scope sensitivity. Now we have to cover this uh, point A to point B which is the cover wall of first target line and we have to do it with the same amount and same type of swipe we usually do while our normal or multiplayer ranked gameplay. So that's how you can find the 6x. 
now there are no 8x uh, scope for uh, any gun in mp if in future it comes we'll use the same mechanism as we have used for 6x and sniper moving on to the firing sensitivity here you do not have to do anything just copy the same sensitivity you have uh, set for your camera uh, sensitivity why because both camera and firing sensitivity have same level of reaction for every device for best muscle memory and super quick reaction time it is best to use the same amount of sensitivity for both camera and firing now let me show you uh, by uh, copying the same uh, sensitivity for camera standard and firing standard now uh, once you copy it uh, that is you put the same amount of sensitivity you will not feel the difference uh, of sensitivities while your character is using camera sensitivity or it is on firing sensitivity and that will build the best muscle memory and best aim accuracy you can achieve now once you have set your uh, sensitivities using the parameters i have just told you that might be perfect for your device or it may vary by plus minus 10 in case of sniper or uh, 6x and plus minus 5 in case of other sensitivities you may feel that it is on the higher side or on the slightly lower side and that is uh, something you can uh, feel after you uh, start using the sensitivity in the practice range or your uh, normal multiplayer games and uh, you can adjust it accordingly so that was all about uh, this episode in the next episode we are going to find the perfect sensitivity for your device using the full gyroscope for multiplayer and if you have learned something new and if you really like this video drop a like and subscribe for more quality cord mobile videos like this thank you for watching see you in episode 8